Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of A Dragon Ball Conversation. So today's conversation is a little bit more lovey-dovey, romantic. Something that requires two, because it does take two. We're talking couples. And joining me today to make another couple of people talking is one of the YouTube community's, well, I'd say legends really, She's been there since the very beginning of that DB tubing was a thing. So may I introduce to you today, Miss DBZ Babe. How's it going? I am good. Thank you. Oh, that's a cute intro. <laughs> uh, you're too much. <laughs> oh, God. Well, no, it's just, it's true. You've been around for a very long time. Just like... Don't worry, you yeah. too. <laughs> we all been, yeah. Definitely. Oh, it's, it's definitely been ages, yeah. Miss DBZ Babe is a talented illustrator and has done loads of little skits and I've done a couple of skits with you too over the years. So would you care to introduce yourself? Yes, well, um, I pretty much uh, love Dragon Ball, the universe, and uh, I use the internet as a, you know, hobby to, uh, you know, make fun of little scenes here and there. I mean, we watch the show so much and I'm like, oh, let's do something different. And obviously, I love uh, drawing and cartooning. I'm like, well, YouTube's a cool platform. Uh, I can do whatever I want. You don't need a television uh, deal. <laughs> so I just do whatever. <laughs> and uh, it worked out. A lot of people liked it. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And I, I mean, I still I do it here and there, but not as much, sadly, because, you know, I'm older now and life takes over. Uh, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, I mean, at least for now, I'm doing like, super reactions and uh i still talk about the series all the time uh, mostly i'm on twitter nowadays and I talk to other fans there's just so much fun and it's it's really good uh, interacting with people i just love it i just thought i'd bring you on today because i think today's topic is perfect because one of your like main uh main topics of mm -hmm. either videos or animations is to do with a couple so, yes. <laughs> as I've reiterated, the topic today is Dragon Ball Couples. So, the way we're going to be structuring out today's episode is we're going to be talking about how couples are treated in the show, our own personal favourites, as well as the fandom's favourite from how we see it, as well as potential couples that we would like to see. Not necessarily romantic couples, platonic couples, like two characters working together. So we'll go back to the first topic of how couples are treated in Dragon Ball. How much romance is on display, should we say? Because for the most part, we should know that Dragon Ball is mostly aimed at young boys. And young boys aren't really into all that romance guff. Because that's just, ooh, that's gross, it's for girls, ooh. But one, that's a misconception because I know, and I, you can attest as well, that Dragon Ball appeals mm -hmm. to Everybody. <laughs> People of all backgrounds, identities can really, really dig because deep down it's pretty awesome and it's most of our childhoods. The level of romance on display is somewhat lower than you would get in a typical anime because for the most part, the, the only interaction is people punching each other in the face, first and foremost. But, you know, it is there. It is there. And when it is in there, it does make a bit of an impact. And... Even not necessarily romance, just moments where characters are interacting and it's nothing to do with, huh, I don't know whether I can take them, you guys. Oh, don't worry, Dad, you got this. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 more than that sometimes. And when it 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 almost makes more of an impact when that happens, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh yeah. That that's the moments that get me the most, honestly. The relationships, you know, the father, the son, the husband, wife. I love that stuff. Um, I, I know. I guess some people don't see it. I know a lot of friends. Uh, even the newest episode, people are like screw this episode. I was like, what? How? No. no. Well, it's like you know, trolls. But it's just interesting. Like now, you bring up a really good point there, actually, about um Trunks and Vegeta. Because again, with couples, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic couples. It can be. It can be a couple of characters, like as you say, Vegeta, Vegeta and Vegeta hug. Trunks. Y yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's that, coming the up. Margin soon, Vegeta <laughs> hug. Oh, that, yeah. That killed us. It killed me, actual. especially when he sacrificed himself. Oh, my God. Because, you know, he apparently he never hugged him. Never. Not even as a baby. Well, obviously, we could tell. Obviously. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that was shown. Um, 
at least nowadays, not really. <laughs> he changed for the better, thankfully. Mm-hmm. And the, and when Goten first saw Goku, oh my god, that killed me too. Like, that's just the level of, like, they finally meet. He had, like, he just, he's seeing it for the first time. The the music, like, they did it real good, at least in the anime. I know Toriyama's not too into the lovey-dovey things, and he keeps it out. But, I mean, I can't blame him. Not everyone's into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they've got creative directors to help with that. And you're absolutely right, because one of the moments I really liked um, was in Super, episode 67. Vegeta, you think he's going to, like, be throwing a punch at Trunks? But, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, Future Trunks uh, grabs it and, you know, they share that moment where they smile. It's like, yeah, don't worry. You got this. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. And just that moment because there was all that tension in the Cell Saga between Future Trunks and Vegeta. Like, they really didn't get along. And that, but until the moment when Trunks was killed by Cell. But now that that little subplot has been completed, uh, that's where Vegeta really has come alive almost. And, you know, it just it shows that in his relationship with Bulma. But we'll get to that in a moment. But we have seen love, but we've also seen lust. And it kind of puts a dampener on things. But obviously, when you look at it from a comedic perspective, it's a bit of a hoot. Like with all of Roshi, Oolong, Yamcha to a lesser extent. Yeah. I mean, I think it's more comedy that at that point. <laughs> just them being silly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pure Toriyama, really. Kind of made the early Dragon Ball, because I know that the first arc of the Dragon Ball manga was a little bit plain, but when, you know, the whole tournament thing came up, Roshi was able to really come alive, the cute romantic moments in some places, but then you've got to have the goofy, lustful comedy just to kind of balance things out, almost. In terms of romantic acts, I, I've only, I only remember some kisses uh, only one really and that wasn't really like an embrace kissing that was chi chi kissing goku on the cheek and goku didn't seem too happy about that when they no. were te- when he was that's when teenagers. he was learning <laughs> his first he didn't even know ever, what a kiss right? was i know uh, food <laughs> well they never kissed on the they never kissed on the lips apparently yeah. uh we yeah that appar- uh, <laughs> well that's a whole that's a whole video slash discussion i feel bad oh, yeah. for this fans honestly <laughs> i well, understand it <laughs> Uh, yeah, you just kind of wonder, you know, how things happened, mm-hmm. how things happen in that regard. But you just think, oh boy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I, I still think he he kissed her. Come on, <laughs> maybe not in public, but that's another thing. <laughs> or maybe just like kissing, just not necessarily on the lips. Exactly. It's like maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I won't go too deep. <laughs> Yeah, the... no, no. Well, oh my. <laughs> but I would say <laughs> we got so spoiled and super for Regina Volma on just like even Gohan and Videl got a lot of good scenes. I'm like, where's the Goku Chichi? Why is it so left out? Why is it because he's the main character? Like, come on. I mean, it, there's little things here. There, she hugged him, and I mean, they even have a scene where they're in bed together <laughs> with Goten. But <laughs> I, yeah, that's a fair point, actually. I, I suppose really in Super, the reason why we really haven't seen anything, you know, really overt is because when it's shown on Japanese TV, because mm-hmm. back in the day, Z and Dragon Ball were shown in the evenings on TV, whereas now it's on Sunday mornings along with One Piece. So standards and practices have changed. So there's barely any blood. You are not going to see Trunks cutting Freezer into pieces or at least nothing overt anymore. Sad face. So people... Th- <laughs> People thinking that Super is, you know, gone downhill or Super is not as violent, there is a reason for that. In terms, that kind of impacts along with um, romantic content, so that's a little bit thrown on the ground, but it just means that the writers have to be a bit more discreet about it. And they have actually been really clever with it sometimes, especially with the Krillin and AT moments. I think that's where it's really been obvious, as well as Gohan and Videl. But yeah, speaking of the couples and you know, mo- favorite moments, I think this is a good time to move on to personal favorites. So, Miss DVZ, babe, I would like to... I know this is uh, pretty much the most obvious question on the planet, so go on. Who is your favorite couple and why? Hmm, it might be Yajirobe and Kor... Anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely... <laughs> Vegeta and Bulma, uh, since the beginning, since as soon as I found out they had a child with Trogs, uh, I was like, oh, amazing. Like, obviously, Vegeta was my, f- my my first favorite character. And then when I found out 
he he finds a love interest. I'm like, that's so cute. I'm very rom- I'm into romantic, you know, things. Um, you know, I'm into Disney, so the fairy tale romantic thing I love. So obviously, I'm not the biggest Vegeta Bulma fan. I've seen people even <laughs> bigger than me now that I've, you know, uh, talked to more people. I guess we're, I don't know. I can't say bigger, maybe. I, we're equal. <laughs> uh they, I, I think okay i like them but people take it a lot i think a lot more serious to the point like if something pisses them off they'll get mad like especially this last week where you know magically boma <laughs> had the baby i'm like that's I mean, you know whatever and there's people legitimately like i can't believe this happened they ruined our like scenes where she was gonna go into labor and they people were actually really mad and i'm just like oh i oh i guess i didn't think of that too much <laughs> i uh, i i would disagree with that because honestly we have never seen anyone pregnant on exactly. dragon ball ever we, I, what i said dude we got spoiled enough like i'm at least happy she got pregnant. Vegeta wanted to stay with her. I'm like, we got something. We definitely got something out of it, which was satisfying. Yeah, we we actually realized, oh, hey, a baby didn't just suddenly appear. Or, oh, oh, uh, we, uh, we had a baby, but that was years ago. So he's a kid now, so we can actually do stuff with him. You know, with the case of Gohan. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it, it, it was that thing. And, honestly, I, I knew that Whis would be involved for some reason, because Goku's going to go, Vegeta, I'm bored. Come find the tournament. <laughs> Whis, can you do something? And, you know, <laughs> magic. I'd say my favorite couple. It's not Goku and Chi-Chi, because that's not really <gasps> a couple, fine. really. Aww, I yeah. mean, I, it, it is it, it is, and it isn't. I understand. It is yeah. because, you know, Chi Chi, you know, fell in love with Goku. That is a thing. And Goku does care for Chi Chi. But, you know, saying genetics and saying upbringing somewhere in Goku's noggin, he kind of sees Gohan, Goten, and Chi Chi as really close companions, like akin to Krillin. Like, best friends. Super duper best friends. He wouldn't want anyone to hurt them or anything like that. But romantically, eh, he's not very aware of it. But I would definitely say my favorite couple is. Krillin and 18 because it's just the whole fact was is that 18 was an absolute delinquent she and 17 they were just drifting teenagers then Dr. Jiro kidnapped them turned them into cyborgs you know you think they were going to be merciless killers but the androids that we got in our timeline were completely different they were much more like their teenage counterparts and Krillin somehow was able to you know see the good inside of them especially 18 and was the first one to treat her with any kind of respect. And she obviously must have found that extremely refreshing and charming. And the fact that they didn't use the opportunity with the Dragon Balls to kill her, they used it to spare her and her brother to give them a fresh start at life. And eventually, hey, they, you know, they shack up and they have a kid and they actually, I mean, you didn't really see it much in Z, although there was a moment when they're on the lookout and Krillin's playing cards while they're while they're <laughs> yeah, up there, scene. <laughs> and you know, eighteen's like helping Krillin <laughs> trying to win the card game. Just that moment, it's just like, oh, that's so, so adorable. Mm-hmm. But my, it's slightly selfish too because eighteen likes money. Eighteen <laughs> likes money yeah, a lot. Yeah, she does. She wants to win <laughs> but, the big bucks. <laughs> mm, yeah, but in super, super. Oh my god, that was just beautiful. So many moments where Krillin and eighteen have shared a moment. And the episode 75, 76, that, that two-parter, cappuccino, man. I can never look at a coffee ever again the same way. <laughs> Just that moment where 18 is going like, I didn't marry a weakling now, did, did I? And Krillin's like, oh, damn it, no, you didn't. <laughs> so, uh, just that moment where, you know, they were proud of Krillin. And that was so good. Uh, it's just, I feel like they are genuinely a solid unit. They are a really cohesive family, and I just absolutely adore it. Nobody really talks about them because it's, oh, it's about Gohan and Videl and Goku and Chi-Chi and Vegeta and Bulma. Fair enough with that one. But with Krillin 18, most people don't tend to you know, look at them. And of course, there's always Yajirobe and Corrin. I mean, yeah, don't get me started <laughs> about that. I mean, the yeah. wedding was absolutely lovely. Mm-hmm. But, Congrats. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, yeah, in terms of what uh, fan desires, I think... What do we think is the fandom's favorite, really? Who do we think is the most popular couple? So, you know, what would you, what would you say based on that? I mean, you've got experience with Vegeta I don't want to be Bulma. biased, <laughs> you know. Would you um, say it's that, really? I mean, I, I most, I mean, oh boy. 
<laughs> you can be honest. You don't have to. I guess don't, you don't have to hold I, your punches. I, defi- I definitely seen more a lot more Goku Chichi fans this past year. Uh, honestly, you want to be honest? I see a lot of Yaoi fans a lot. <laughs> Oh, well, fuck, yeah. That, that's huge. I thought that was actually a lot bigger than what I'm seeing in the general fandom, but... Oh, well, um, that that, oh, don't get, that that goes without saying. I mean, you know, Goku, mm-hmm. Vegeta, you know. that Now that's now that's a power couple. It, it is. <laughs> At least what I, what I see. But I, I honestly, I I kind of think it's Vegeta Bulma, honestly. Mm, um, I, I would personally agree with that, actually. But I want to respect every other couple, <laughs> which is good, too. All couples in Dragon Ball are great, and... Loads of people really want Goku and Bulma. I mean, I yeah, that's I, true. I mean, I it's fair enough, but I honestly don't see that happening because Goku is not smart, at least on an intellectual level. So that would frustrate Bulma to no end. She, yeah, she's already annoyed with him by so many levels. <laughs> it wouldn't work out. They're good friends and everything like that, but I would imagine that Goku would drive her crazy. The only reason that, I mean, Vegeta and Bulma get on so much is because they just sass each other out all the time. That they, they get angry at each other and then they have angry sex. Yeah. I mean, I actually think I know, I know exactly, I think, the moment when Bra was conceived. I think it was in episode 43 when Goku's energy was out of whack and he used his instant transmission. Uh, you know, he was going around saying, oh my, I don't know where I am right now. And Bulma's having the shower, finds Goku in her bedroom. Vegeta's going like, Kakarot, how dare you be in here, girl? And then they're just like, Ugh, I'm so mad, Goku, how dare he is? Oh, I'm mad too, let's make love. <laughs> <laughs> mad. I love that. <laughs> and touching the butts. That, that, I think that, I, that's my theory. Yeah, and, what, and you remember he insulted her with the boobs? Oh, well, oh <laughs> yeah. He had, Vegeta had to be like, don't know, don't listen to him, you know? <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, you know. I think, yeah, I think Vegeta values his life too much. Hey, if Bulma can s- stand up to Beerus, then, you know, mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. think he'd want to touch, I mean, oh, oh, <laughs> that's another thing. What would you say was the internet's reaction of the, that's my Bulma moment? Uh, in the movie or the sh- or Super? Both. I honestly like Super, but a lot of people really liked the movie. They were saying the movie was short and sweet, got to the point. And you know it was our it was our first you know exposure to that, and we were all freaking out. Um, obviously, mm. I loved it, but I liked the super where you know he was freaking out. I mean, it did take a little long, but I just thought he had more impact. Yeah, yeah, and I liked it. I love it. The Horikawa's performance in that was just going. Ah, 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 ah. It's just like, oh, jeez. I both find this hilarious and tense. <laughs> I don't think I ever replayed a scene more than that. For sure, when it came out. Even in dub 2, both. Oh my god, I loved it. Over and over. I've had the pleasure of meeting Ryo Horikawa in person. Oh, you're so lucky. I, and he is very much a thespian. He very much acts like an actor. He's always wearing turtleneck sweaters. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's very, like, <laughs> relaxed and chill. Mm-hmm. And he obviously did the Vegeta voice to everyone. And <laughs> it felt like, oh, that's nice. Now I just got to meet Masako Nozawa. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah. no, yeah, Dream. but yeah, we're not. We, let's not get sidetracked here. But I know. <laughs> um, I know, I know, that's fair enough. But um, I would say, what other couples would we like to see? So you know, we've had some new characters in Super. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. But I would say, I'd love to see some more Vados Weiss interaction. Yes, yes. I'd love to see more of that, as well as the Grand Priest interacting with Weiss more. So that'd be cool. The angel relationships. I'd love to see more of that. I would like to see more Champa <laughs> with Vados because they're super cute. Oh together. yeah, that that's um, that's great. Yeah, the way she acts around him, I'm like, oh, yay. <laughs> um, and then obviously, oh, Kabe and Vegeta. Please, I want him to go to the new planet or his planet oh, to see I'm, the other I'm Saiyans sure. so bad. I'm... I've been wanting, like, they hinted it. After the tournament, and I was like, please, please. And then, I mean, he came back for the baseball episode, and he was like, watch him, Vegeta. That 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 interaction, I love it. Everyone's like, it's his other son. Too bad, Trunks. I'm like, no, no, no. He's good with everyone. I would, I'd be very interested to see Kaba um, getting a relationship with, the, at the moment, Fem Broly, air quotes. 
Uh, I've seen fan art from different universes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure fan art does exist. How yeah, does people were not? speculating they were brother or sister or something. I forgot, but yeah, I mean, we're not we're not quite sure about what universe uh, she's in. But I think there's there are rumors that I've re- she's leaning towards Universe Eleven that she might even be part of the Pride Troopers, so then it might be that might be. There's Man, a lot it felt of like forever right since there. she was she was like shown and she's not even here yet. But they were really I know. dragging on. I feel like a oh, dragon yeah, no. on plus the missed uh, weeks of not airing. Oh, uh, hopefully it's soon now. <laughs> Toei knows what they're doing though. Mm-hmm. But it, spe- speaking of other couples, I think. Um, we saw Trunks and Mai from the future. That is an yes. obvious relationship, which I personally think is the bomb. That's probably my <laughs> second favorite because Future Mai is so cool. Yes, but mm-hmm. their kid, their kid counterparts, Kid Trunks and Kid Mai. Do you think there's any love in there? Do you think? Because I know that Kid Mai. Well, I say Kid Mai. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, the little yeah, I get Mai, it. the yeah. little Mai really prefers Future Trunks, but mm-hmm. yeah, the Future Trunks told hilarious. her just look after my look after my counterpart, and you know, she they kind of like each other. I mean, Kid Trunks is showing signs of growing up. I mean, I mean much more oh my than god, Goten. they they hinted it before all of this. They hinted it in the movie in Battle of Gods. Like that was way before we even thought that would even be possible. When you know, it's my boyfriend, and then the hand holding at the end. Um, so I, th- oh yeah, they were, they were, they were warming us up. I think it'll happen. She just has to grow up again. <laughs> well, I think realize. she's, well, she's calling the shot really because she's in her forties and fifties, at least psychologically. I mean, we'll see how that goes. I, I'd like there to be something like that. I'm really glad with that. And I think now's the time to head towards the conclusion, I'd say. Okay. And <laughs> even though couples don't really figure much day to day in Dragon Ball, they are there. They're mostly discreet. You say that, but I would say Bulma <laughs> and Vegeta are the most obvious couple out there. I have seen the amount of times that you've shared that same image of Bulma on Vegeta's <laughs> shoulder from episode two of Super. So many times. So many times. <laughs> it's so good. And and they and she actually kissed them. I'm like, come on. Super is amazing, at least for our fans. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Vegeta Vegeta has been treated so well in mm-hmm. this in Super. People so complaining happy. that it was just it was Goku time. No, Goku's really been kind of left out to dry most. Yeah, he's not really changed much. Whereas Vegeta has, you know, he's completely different. I mean, he's I'd describe him more of a man than a Saiyan in in some places. And mm-hmm. he's he's adapted to survive. He as a royal Saiyan knows about raising a family sort of at least the protocols and everything like that. So, it stands to reason really and you know, there are plenty of couples out there. I mean, seeing more of Krillin 18 is really good. I'd like to see more Vados and Whis, at least for you know, as a platonic you know, sibling rivalry type <laughs> thing. That was cute. Mm-hmm. I like the fact, you know, so, of um, Whis is saying, oh, well, there are rumors that, you know, they say Vados is stronger than me, but I I think my, plenty's changed since then. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stronger now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. that's so cute, Whis. You're getting jealous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think I think that's great. But yeah, thank you so much, Miss DBZ Bay, for joining me on this conversation. And now is the time for you to plug away with your social medias. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. All right. Pretty much Miss DBZ Babe, just Google it. You'll find me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Tumblr. Uh, I think that's the main ones so far. <laughs> yep. Just MS DBZ B-A-B-E. You'll find me. Yep. Oh, and my I guess I should say real quick, my reactions are on a different channel with M-I-S-S DBZ Babe. <laughs> so I pretty much scream. <laughs> yeah, I scream. Lower, lower your volume. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Well, but no, that, thanks for that thing there. But thank you once again for joining me. I think this is the perfect topic to bring you on for this one. Yay, so thank now you. is the time. No, you're welcome. Now is the time to turn it to you guys out there. What do you guys think? How do you think Dragon Ball treats couples? Do you think that they're treated fairly? Do you think they're overlooked? Do you think there are potential couples that we've not seen yet or should be explored some more? Just leave a comment below. Let's get the conversation going. And just thank you for listening. It only leaves me to say thank you for listening. Until the next one, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you very much, DBZ Bay, for joining me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and until next time, guys, catch you later.